Whether or not these miracles have an extraterrestrial origin cannot be determined at this time. We've just recently gotten direct visual access to the astonishing and bizarre activities taking place outside of our own Earth. We're lucky to be one of a kind, after all. Thanks to space agencies like NASA, the European Space Agency, and others, we have access to stunning images of the cosmos. You won't want to miss this if you have even a little fascination with NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope, or any other breakthroughs in the field of space exploration. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's cut to the chase and get right to it. Number 1. MACS J0717 Webb's observation of the large galaxy cluster MACS J0717.5 plus 3745 is depicted in this enormous image. James Webb used a total of 18 individual photographs to create the massive panorama. Researchers have discovered a filament of dark matter running from the center of the cluster by studying the gravitational effects on the background galaxy light. A blue mass distribution map depicts the area in which the dark matter is concentrated. The filament can be seen extending away from the cluster's core and to the left. In a first, the team was able to create a three-dimensional map of the filament structure using additional observations from ground-based telescopes. Since we know the filament extends away from the cluster's center, our view is along it. Number 2. Ghost Lights from Abel 2744 This NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope image gives the huge galaxy cluster Abel 2744, also known as Pandora's Cluster, an eerie appearance. All of the stars in this picture were tinted blue digitally to get this effect. This demonstrates that not all the starlight is trapped within the dazzling blue-white blobs that we know to be galaxies, the cities of stars. As can be seen in the darker blue areas, some of the starlight is also spread across the cluster. These rays of light are emitted by long-dead galaxies. Gravitational forces within the cluster tore the galaxies apart eons ago, scattering their stars throughout the intra-cluster space. These stars have no ties to any particular galaxy and are free to wander the cluster. Webb's infrared sensitivity to incredibly dim light was essential for this study since the light from these extremely faint stars is strongest at near-infrared wavelengths. In this image, galaxies not colored blue are either in the foreground or background and are not part of the cluster. Number 3. Small Concentration of Dark Matter in this image from the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA and ESA can see the huge galaxy cluster MACSJ-1206. Images of distant background galaxies observed as arcs and blurred characteristics are embedded inside the cluster. The cluster's dark matter causes these aberrations because its gravity magnifies and distorts light from distant galaxies. By taking advantage of this occurrence, astronomers can investigate faint, faraway galaxies. Small dark matter concentrations are superimposed on the image. As the bulk of the matter in the universe, dark matter acts as the unseen glue that holds galaxies together. Webb Space Telescope findings show that the distribution of dark matter in the galaxy cluster is reflected in these blue halos. Astronomers were able to do this by quantifying the extent of gravitational lensing. Number 4. Astronomical Cooperation The Big Bang and all that followed were collectively such a devastating event that their marks are permanently etched into the very fabric of the universe. Inspecting the light from the distant past allows us to see these wounds even now. Nearly 14 billion years after its inception, this light, which is now present as weak microwave radiation, and is so dubbed, the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, has extended to saturate the whole cosmos, filling it with measurable photons. The sunyev zeldovich effect has been around for over 30 years and allows the CMB to be utilized as a cosmic probe. After the CMB's microwave photons have traveled through space, they're picked up here on Earth. High-energy electrons can be found in clusters of galaxies that these objects travel through on their way to Earth. These electrons provide a negligible additional energy boost to the photons. Understanding the distribution of dense galaxy clusters, for example, requires astronomers to detect these enhanced photons using our telescopes, which is a difficult but crucial task. Number 5. Abel 
1689. This view from the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope reveals the distribution of dark matter at the core of the massive galaxy cluster, Abel 1689, home to a billion galaxies and a trillion stars. Most of the mass in the universe can be attributed to dark matter, an invisible substance. Dark matter is invisible to Webb's telescope. Astronomers determined its location by studying gravitational lensing, which occurs when light from galaxies behind Abel 1689 is bent by intervening matter within the cluster. For this purpose, scientists analyzed the observed positions of 135 lensed pictures of 42 background galaxies to determine the distribution and mass of dark matter in the cluster. A map of blue-hued regions where dark matter was assumed to be prevalent was then overlaid. The lensing distortions would be far weaker if the cluster's gravity originated just from the visible galaxies. The center of the cluster is where the map shows the greatest concentration of dark matter. It is estimated that Abel 1689 is 2.2 billion light-years from Earth. Number 6. Stellar Fireworks the James Webb Space Telescope's deepest views of the cosmos provide hints that the first stars may have exploded into existence with all the brilliance and splendor of a fireworks display. This conclusion, however, preceded the formation of the Earth, the Sun, and the Milky Way galaxy. Webb's most penetrating observations have led scientists to hypothesize that a large fraction of the stars in the universe were born in a sudden, intense burst of star formation that illuminated the dark skies only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the tremendous explosion that created the universe. Today, stars are still being formed in galaxies, but the rate may be far lower than the gusher that was anticipated in the early universe. Number 7. Dark Matter in a Large Galaxy Cluster Four major regions were identified in the supercluster where dark matter has accumulated into dense clumps, according to the results of the study. Locations like this are consistent with the migration paths of hundreds of galaxies from the supercluster's periphery into these dense regions. This image was created by combining a James Webb infrared image of the supercluster galaxies with a dark matter map. This picture was taken as a part of the Space Telescope Abel 901-902 Galaxy Survey, which is one of the largest areas of sky ever surveyed by the James Webb Telescope. Since the area to be inspected is so large, 80 Webb pictures were required. Number 8. Unique Mass Map CL0024 plus 17 is a galaxy cluster in Pisces that is roughly 4 billion light-years away. Astronomers can use CL0024 plus 17 to investigate the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Non-cluster galaxies, visible as blue smears towards the image's center, are extremely far away. Gravitational lensing explains why the light from distant galaxies seems stretched and twisted because of the strong gravity of CL0024 plus 17. Since dark matter neither radiates nor reflects any light, it is invisible to the naked eye. Gravity's effect on light is the only way astronomers know to detect it. Dark matter distribution in the cluster can be traced by astronomers by mapping the gravitationally distorted light. In the process of mapping the dark matter, astronomers discovered a dark matter ring around the cluster's core, although this is disputed by other independent studies. The discovery of the ring is among the most compelling arguments for the existence of dark matter. Number 9. Birth of Our Galaxy Around 12.7 billion years ago, when our Milky Way galaxy was yet in its initial stages, when our galaxy was young, globular star clusters filled the sky instead of the grand spiral arms. The blue star cluster in the upper left is just one of hundreds of primordial globular star clusters that coalesced to form our Milky Way. To this day, we can still see this cluster in the constellation Scorpius as the globular cluster M4. Webb was employed by astronomers in order to locate the cluster's oldest, most smoldering remnant stars, known as white dwarfs. The temperature of the dwarfs is used to determine the age of the cluster. This cluster, depicted in this artwork as being full of youthful blue-white stars, likely began forming some hundred million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy's core may be seen taking shape to the right of the center. 
A newborn supermassive black hole is surrounded by dark dust lanes. The infant black hole is engulfing stars, gas, and dust, and it's sending a powerful jet of material hurtling through space. Pink bubbles of hot gas are formed around each star cluster as a result of a series of supernova explosions from the most massive stars in the cluster. Thank you for watching the video. Which picture fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you loved watching this video, press the like and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.